Hello everyone, it's Min in Taiwan and I am officially here in Taiwan. Just an update for my rhinoplasty journey. Today is January 30, 2023 and I am now on my 6th month post off and I can't believe how time flies. So for this video, I'm going to answer most asked questions from my previous blog and TikTok post. Even yung mga nag-DM sa akin through IG and Messenger, ipopoint out. And so let's start with the number one concern question which is how much is your rhinoplasty okay mine was virgin nose yes this was overhaul rhinoplasty standard price naman si doc with his rhinoplasty there only comes a price difference if it's done with bello or centuria and other clinic that now transitioning at saint luke's bgc also there's additional in the cost if it's for revision rhinoplasty Regular price for Virgin Nose is 163000 You can pay credit card installment with zero interest, but mine was paid cash and this comes with 5% discount. Actually, my sister who's generous and very supportive gifted me 100 k and I'm super thankful to her. And she also did my natural looking veneers before I've done my nose job. So if you guys are planning to do veneers and rhinoplasty at the same time, make sure na mauna yung veneers para nabubukan nyo yung bibig nyo safely na hindi naiisip yung nose nyo na na-stretch siya since matagal yung healing time ng rhinoplasty. Then if you have some question regarding my veneers, you can comment below so then I'll try to answer. Then if you are interested for veneers, you can contact their FB page, CFF Dental Clinic for your inquiry or you can directly message her account, Claudine Figueroa. And for me, she is truly my fairy godmother and I love you sis. Mwah. Okay, going back to my nose, um, so we planned this since last last year pa, then back February 13, 2022, I luckily secured the slot before pa ma-flood yung schedule ni Doc Nato. Then I paid an non-refundable down payment of 10000 for my slot back then. As 3000 for the lobes at high precision, I highly suggest to go to high precision for all your lobes. You get the results right away within the day. And the next day for x-ray and ECG through online. You can also get the hard copies the next day, same time when you get the x-ray results. Uh, all you need to forward to your nurses anyway are online copies. And then, three weeks prior the surgery, you can do lab tests na. So, if ever there's abnormal findings, eh, makorek pa. And you can take medications. Kesa days before ng surgery magpa-test, then baka magka-problem. So, sayang naman yung slot mo. Plus, 4,000 for my cardio clearance at Belo Alabang. You are required to attend to their cardiologist if you are scheduled Belo. But there's cardio clearance through online that only costs 1,000 pesos. Pero hindi ako pinayagan that time. Kailangan talagang attendan yung in-house cardiologist nila. Plus, 2,500 for the RT-PCR done drive through I advise na one week prior surgery if RT-PCR still required pa. Stay na muna kayo sa bahay para iwas virus. Plus, 5,000 for the meds uh, prescribed by my doctors and other meds I added like Arnica Montana and Bromelain Capsule. Plus, 15,000 cost of care essentials. More or less, it's 190,000 total. Please note that these expenses are just mine and can change depending on your doctor and your budget. Still, the ones you need to allot budget for would be the rhinoplasty, the laboratories, the cardio clearance, the RT-PCR, and meds prescribed by your doctor. Then, if you have threads or fillers, you should remove it or promote prior your surgery because there's this case na hindi niya pinatunaw and na-cancel yung surgery na, so super sayang. Then, threads and fillers have the same price ng revision rhinoplasty which costs 187000 So, if you are planning to undergo rhinoplasty in the future, don't do fillers or threads na. Diretso na kayo pa rhinoplasty if may savings na din naman. Then, Yung effect pala no pag may melt ng threads is if you go to a rhinoplasty, maglalagay sila ng implant here, right? So, yung tissue, nababawasan siya pag na melt sa loob. So, pag nilagay yung implant, parang super nipis niya tignan yung skin sa lapat ng implant. Uh, you know what I mean? You get, nagiget nyo ba? Parang manipis siyang tignan, parang halata, parang ganun. 
second question is what kind of implant uh, mine is cortex implant with 7 mm width and curvature there are three kinds of implant the silicon the cortex and the rib cartilage but my doctor only uses cortex and rib cartilage implant um rib implant or rib cartilage implant cost 350,000 only the surgery itself and others confused pala if the harvested cartilage sa ear is the implant no they fold it and put it to the tip to columella siya yung nagsisilbing poste or yung base ng nose but hindi yun yung kinuhang cartilage sa ear hindi siya yung implant guys so my implant is Gore-Tex implant yeah. What supplements do you take? I took bromelain capsule once a day, 30 minutes before breakfast for fast absorption, and it has 500 mg of pineapple enzymes. And I took this one week prior to surgery, and vitamin C plus zinc. Then for my diet, it's soft diet. I started soft diet one week prior to surgery, and then for the first week was up up to one month hindi mo na kumain ng mga malalansa like seafoods para iwas magayong nose and then I eat lots of protein food uh, for fast healing and then lots of pineapple juice how long is the healing time uh, it's six months up to one year is the timeline of healing for rhinoplasty by six months all the structures inside the nose are already healed and sabi nila makikita mo na yung results by one year it's already healed na yung nose even yung tip area pwede na daw magalaw but I don't want to risk that <laughs> and then yung sa implant area intact naman din na since it's my six months already for the pain, uh, level of pain, no pain as in, it's zero pain. It's just that the feeling of discomfort for the per first three days pause up. Kasi nagbabarabara yung nose which is normal naman but it's zero pain talaga. As in walang pain akong na feel. Kahit yung mga sa ailers ko, yung ailerplasty, it just looks painful pero hindi siya talaga masakit. As in walang pain. And so thankful for that. How is your scar? Um, my scar, I think okay naman. It looks natural and it seems like I didn't undergo surgery. Um, there's this scar treatment called CO2 laser. Then this treatment is recommended if your scar doesn't flatten or if you are keloidal and this can be done two months post-op or use scar gel. But mine I choose natural healing since I got skin irritation sa ointment. When can you do braces or adjustments? Uh, got my braces on my lower part of the teeth on my fifth week post op, uh, but advisable to do it on second or third month post op. But we all have different timeline ng healing naman, so tinancha ko lang if mapubuka ko na yung mouth ko widely without na stretch yung sa nose area. Then my sister guided my mouth naman not to stretch that much. Then you can do full smile or laugh na by the peak of two months post op. And then next is when can apply skincare or makeup. I did my skincare one week post op, and I can use makeup on my second week post op. Just make sure not to dub makeup or skincare on the ailer part where you did a uh, ailer plasty. Where do you have a scar? If fresh pa. Yeah, so if dry naman na, so you can put naman the skincare and the makeup. Yes. Did you change your travel documents? I'd like to, but I requested a medical certificate from my doctor that will serve as a proof that I underwent rhinoplasty. So if ever my question some immigration, I have something to show, or at least I have proof. Then, did you undergo BFR? I didn't undergo any surgery except rhinoplasty it's just that my original nose was flat and my skin is sag so na emphasize yung jawline hindi itong banda so it would seems like nahila siya ng mid face yeah how to contact doc nato uh, bookings have been hold since march last year 
there's a waitlist in booking, meaning to say, once it opens, priority yung people that are on the waitlist. Most likely, earliest date for those who are not waitlisted would be 2024. Um, you can follow Doc Nato Bay's Facebook page for the updates for bookings or you can contact Bello para ma-update kayo if ever mag-open man. So that's it for the Q&A guys. So now I'm just going to tell you some tips that I did before my surgery. So first is got my facial derma one week prior the surgery. Suction for the blackheads and whiteheads on my nose area. And since you can't do pricking na after surgery, especially sa nose area, sa may implant area, and then, since you have a cast for one week after surgery, para di masyado mag-oily yung nose and ma-prone sa pimple, that's why I did uh, skin derma. Then, divulge all meds you are taking. No to blood thinners like vitamin D, E, collagen, and isotretinoin one month prior the surgery. Then, if you are on a maintenance, just inform na lang your doctor. Then, avoid alcoholic beverages, smoking, and vaping, which constrict the blood vessels that slow in the rate of healing. Then, one day prior the surgery, I took Arnica Montana, five pellets under the tongue, three times per day. Then, one tube is to consume na lang. Then, Coamoxiclov, two times a day. These are antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and anti-bruising drugs. It really help you for your healing and para hindi masyadong mamaga yung face nyo. Did no taping until until 3 months using stair strip, yung blue, yung blue yung sticker niya sa harap. My advice for those who are yet to get their noses done, be very patient and trust your doctor, trust the process of healing. It's been a crazy ride, especially post-op care, so be very ready emotionally and mentally. I'm so thankful because I picked the best doctor in the age, and so lucky that my healing is so smooth lang. And so far, wala naman negative comments regarding my nose job. And this is the best decision I have ever made when it comes to my well-being. Kasi I know mag-increase ang aking confidence and it did. And this is something na I wholeheartedly want. And this is something that will give joy to me. And I am all for enhancement and I am comfortable doing it. Hopefully, this information helps. That's it for this video. I hope na may nakuha kayo from my experience. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on my channel. And thank you for watching. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.